What I'm about to share in this video is something you're not going to find anywhere. This is a complete guide on call option purchases, what strikes to buy, what expiries to buy, and what deltas to consider. I'm going to share with you two golden rules to consider when it comes to buying call option. Do not replicate it to buying put options. This video is exclusively about buying call options only. If you want to refer the put option video, go on my channel and go look for the complete guide on buying put options. So golden rule number one, the longer your expected time horizon in a trade, the smaller the delta you should go with. Let me break it down for you. If your time horizon is intraday, you should be buying 80 delta call option so that you get the maximum outcome in the trade when it goes in your favor. And even if the trade does not go in your favor, the DK does not hurt you much. So if your time horizon is intraday, buy at least 80 delta call. If your time horizon is anywhere between one week to three months, you should buy 70 delta call options. If your time horizon is anywhere between six to 12 months, you should buy 60 delta call options. Above 12 months, you should buy 50 delta call options. If your time horizon is going to be more than two years, that is if you're buying leaps, of course, then your delta can be slightly less than 50 as well. In fact, the thumb rule here would be you simply buy the strike that is one strike out of the money compared to at the money price. Now, this is about which strike to buy. The next piece of information to complete this guide is what expiries should be buy. The very simple rule that is applicable to any trade that you're going to stay in from one week to say two years is that the expiry of your call option should be one and a half times your time horizon. So if your time horizon here is three months, you should be buying the call option that's going to expire in four and a half months. If your time horizon is six months, you should be buying the call option that's going to expire in nine months. So this is how you pick your expiry. So this is a complete guide. Save this video, make the notes and never digress from this rule.